Hey guys, welcome, welcome to my video vlogs. So sorry that the camera is a little bit crooked because I've been trying to line it up for a good view and it's not cooperating with me, so this is the best view I can get it. So, <laughs> so anyway, so that's why I had to break down what all, what's going on. So, anywho, in NASCAR, it's a Jimmy Johnson's uh, Cup Ride car revealed. Who should be driving the number 84 Carvana Chevy? And, uh, which I can see why he picked number 84 because it's a reverse to 48 <laughs> because he can't get 48 because it's owned by Hendrick so but yeah so so yeah I've seen this car reveal and I believe there's been other new paint schemes revealed too if you well if you just go, go to the NASCAR shop they they got some ones that are revealed or or that Google search it too as well so yeah so otherwise um yeah the the, the, the clash comes up on February 5th so not long from now so so yeah, and plus with HRA, I will uh, tell you when their first season, well, the reveal date of their season opener. So, yeah, sorry, tongue twister, stuttering happens. So yeah. So anyway, the news I've been wanting to talk about, and what you guys have been hearing as of late, about WWE's is on is 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 for sale. Ever since Vince McMahon has come back, and there has been a lot of buyers, um, and Saudi Arabia is the one that's on the top list, as everybody has seen, but still has been no potential buyer. Um, this type of deal was kind of going on when they had uh, Disney as the top buyer for WWE, but it never went went through because because the Disney didn't want them. But um, if I mean, this might change the, the wrestling landscape, but this is the way I see it, guys. I mean, if they do buy it, if, it I mean, which would be kind of like a business buying, but, I mean, like a foreign country buying a business, I mean, stuff being made out of the, I mean, to, to sell in the U.S. That's what's kind of going on. I mean, kind of like, for example, like uh, Budweiser. They were owned by St. Louis, but then it got sold by a foreign country, and the product's been sold here. In the U.S., uh, Columbia uh, Sportswear. It was it was manufactured in Oregon. They so now so, so now China owns it, and now they're making them. And but being sold in the U.S. So yeah, guys. So you so you just kind of see my point on that. So that's why I think what's going to happen if if Saudi Arabia buys the WWE. I mean, it's going to be owned by a foreign country, and and they're going to have the matches here in the U.S. and then around the world and so forth. So that's what's kind of going on with this. It's I'm, I mean it's kind of a business I mean a business I'm trying to word out. It's like a business aspect. Sorry, there's the word I was trying to get out. But yeah, I mean, I mean I mean that's what it is. So if you look at it that way, that's what's gonna probably happen. But still has been no sale, I mean there has been no final deal made or all that stuff, or maybe it's just background noise, or people who hate WWE are trying to scare us. Who knows what's going on? And plus, with the staring, and plus with staring me man leaving, that really, really raises raises some uh, uh, some eyebrows as well. So there's that. So who knows what's going to happen in the future? I am not going to look down on it, and yeah, I, I, which I am a little worried about it of uh, who they're going to sell it to. But trust me, guys, they are not going to sell to Disney. They're not going to sell to Comcast. They're not going to sell to uh, flipping J.P. Morgan. They're, I mean, they're not going to probably sell to Saudi Arabia. Who knows? Whoever they give the company to, hopefully they're in good hands with it. Even though the ones who, I think it was some other buyer that said, I mean, if I was going to purchase WWE, I would get rid of Vince McMahon. So, yeah, but... But that's what it seems what's going on right now. But I'm not I'm not going to say for sure. So maybe it's still in good hands. Who knows? I mean, maybe they don't want to, 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 for it to be sold. I don't know. Because they're kind of going the same route as WCW went back in 2000 when they got bought by Time Warner. And we all know, and we all know how that went down. So hopefully, it, so hopefully, it, I mean, we won't be looking at it that way. So. Because that's what some are kind of looking at it, at that. But times change. So we'll see how it goes. So 
that's my thing. We'll just see how it goes. If it gets sold, it gets sold, but we don't know by who. I mean, a lot of people are picking Saudi, um, Saudi Arabia for, for the for the sale. I mean, as a top buyer. So, so yeah, we'll just kind of weigh in the wind. We'll just kind of sit back because there's nothing we can do about it. We just got to sit back and just hear the news. So, that's the best thing we can do. So, anyhow, let's get on to the results. Monday Night Raw. And JBL opens up Raw with, with Owens coming out and insulting him. And you have Robert Ray. Okay, Barry Corbin had Zilla Prison. Who has a pinfall victory over Roman Reigns in three years? <laughs> and Corbin says he'll he will win the Rebel match. Uh huh. And there's a match with Corbin and Owens, and Owens gets the win. Bailey versus Mitchin, formerly known as Mia Yim. And of course, Sky and Kai got involved. And Bailey got the win. Candice challenges Rhea to a match. And then Theory comes out. And Seth Rollins was there. Made his appearance. And Theory says he won he's one percent. Both of them said they're going to win the Rumble. And Lashley came out. He spears theory. So, yeah, so Lashley has made it clear he's in the Rumble. Okay, Rhea versus Candice. Then Rhea got the win with the Riptide, even though it says here that Candace won, but they're wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. And so, then Solo faced Dolph. And of course, Solo won. And the Judge Bay makes her way to the ring before that. For the main event, the tag for the tag of Kukonlet. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll to be on the on on, on Miss TV. And then and then the uh, and then the judge was getting pissed off at Miz, and then then the OC came out for the tag team to tur turmoil. Judge Day faces to the OC. And the and the judgment day one. Then the, then here came the the Alpha Academy, and they won again. Judgment day. And and then the and well then the uh, super pilots came out and then uh, then uh, Balor got hurt and then 
Dama took his place in, and they, and they got the win. They won the whole tank, tank turmoil match. And they'll be facing the Usos next. Don't know when, though. And that's it for Raw. And we're on SmackDown here on the WWE uh, website. Jack defeated Tony D'Angelo. Then Carlos returns and it wins the tag team gauntlet match. Then Ron Breaker defeated Grayson Waller by count out after the uh, ring collapsed. And they're going to have a rematch in a steel cage. That's, a, that's how they end the show. It's kind of jumping ahead. Then Charlie Dempsey beat Hank Walker. Then, G then Jinder Mahal defeated Julius Creed. Nice to see him back after a while. He's been up deep to me for a while. Then Gigi Dolan and JC Jane won the number contender 21 Battle Royal. So, 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 so they kind of pulled the 1994 World Rumble finish. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of. Well, plus the 2005 World Rumble as well, where uh, Vince McMahon blowed, blowed both his claws while getting the ring, and which he demanded that there would be a, a decisive winner. Not in this one. So They said Shawn Michaels didn't come out and restart the match. All right, so you have it on that. They're having NXT. Okay, on to Dynamite. Match. Sean Moxley faced Hangman and a page. And it was a good match. As both the as, as both men struck each other and Page with a Lariat, but he follows it with a buckshot Lariat for the win. Then Adam Cole re returns, Bebe. Been a while since he's been back. Then Big Bill and Lee Morty face Jungle Hook. And then Jungle Hook won. I got the name. I mean, wink. <laughs> I got it. Then Brian Danielson faced uh, Kunoshi Take, take Shasha. Take Shata. I hope I pronounced that right. And Brian Danielson got the win. And then Hayter, and then Britt Baker, and then Sarai and the Tony Storm. And then Hayter, it's just... Anyway. Okay, yeah, Hayter and uh, Baker won. Where, it's, where, it's, where it says here, it says Hayter and Storm won. <laughs> Mistypes happens. Yeah, and then, then, then the Jericho... Well, well, Patricia decided he made the way of the ring. Then uh, Starks and um, and um, and Andretti came out. And, I mean, I mean, insulting him. And man, that one from Andretti on Guevara was pretty good. <laughs> and I guess that uh, Ricky Starks made a challenge to uh, to um, oh. Jake, Jake Hager, sorry, I'm trying to remember his name, but yeah. And plus, nobody has slammed him for his last, for his last world, world title win, just like what Michael Cole did years ago. Nobody re uh, remembers him as champion. <laughs> I was probably some dumb say on here, on, on uh, AW. Yeah, and the match seven of the best of seven series for the world, AW you know, World Trios Championship. Dilam. Um, oh, Death Triangle. Okay, what's called Death Triangle versus the Elite. Because okay, I can't read the first Spanish name. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> and Omega climbs the ladder and got the belts, and they win. Alright, here on that. Now on to SmackDown.
in the Intercontinental Championship, Gunther faces uh, Strowman. And, and uh, Gunther kicked out of the uh, Power Slam. Then hits the Power Bomb for the win on, on uh, Braun. Course, he uh, entered himself in the World Rumble match. And then Cross came out. So, while Maxine says she has no chance, Emma's backstage and asks live, asks live what she, she, what we, what she was, what he was thinking. While Maxine says she, she has no chance, Rick Will also joins in, and if someone of Liv's size would have a better chance of, of uh, 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 any last, and Liv slaps her. I challenge her to a match Rick will accept your challenge. Okay, so Liv must have got in there, mistype, somewhere. Then, then, then Ox Ali faced Tegan Knox, and welcome back, Lee. It's been, been a while. And Knox got, and Knox got the win. The Viking Raiders were waiting for McIntyre and Sheamus. So they challenge him to a match. Hmm. And then, yeah, because he got yeah, Zane and Owens was in me backstage, and Zane asked Owens if he was, if he is happy now. Owens says he. He was on Raw, but the bloodline came to Raw, and he decided to take him out. He says Roman is one of the, is the one who is using Zayn, but Zayn denies it, and he says Owens doesn't understand it. But tonight he needs to take your business. All right. Okay. Then Morgan faced Raquel Rodriguez, and Ro and Rodriguez got the win. That's something. Bill says she wants a rematch against Charlotte Flair, but Adam says he can't give her a match because she lost. Sonia says Adam is being unreasonable, but Adam wants her to enter the World Rumble match. Sonia says she will find a way to make the match official. And Sonia Bill and Charlotte Flair were brought backstage, and that's what did it. <laughs> and then Zane face Omens in the main event, which came to a no contest as the Usos took, well, the bloodline took took care of uh, Owens. And Zayn didn't like it. <laughs> it was seen, but he kind of went, went, went with it. Alright, so there's SmackDown. And now Rampage. And TNT Championship. Darby Allen faced Juice Robinson. And Darby defend his title. And then, okay. And in an interview. Oh no. In an interview, they don't take a chance to claim Anthony Bowen's Max Caster, the daddy ass. <laughs> yeah, then the uh, guns uh, interrupted him, but then they actually moonlit the guns, so to say. <laughs> and the kings of the Black Throne, Bro Brody King and McCalla, and uh, Mc, uh, uh, Black. Faced a, a, a Kingston and, and Ortiz, and of course the Kings of the of Black Throne with the win. He, I mean, though Ortiz didn't like uh, Kingston after the match, it wasn't yeah. 
Yeah, then there was an interview with the Golden Globe winner, Paul Walter Huss, Husser. I never heard of him. But man, he took a good guitar shot. I'll take that. I'll give you that. Man. And then Denhausen was with uh, with uh, Paul Walter, and then uh, then then Orange Cassidy and the, the best friends uh, um, scared off uh, Jeff Jarrett, Jalito, and Shane and Dud. Then main event: Ruby Soho and Willow Nightmare face the 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 Jericho Christian Society, Anna J A S and Ty Mello. And it wasn't a bad match, to be honest. But man, Soho bleed like a stuffed pig. Man, a lot of the, uh, the uh, crimson mask, as JR would say. Man. And of course, Ruby and, well, of course, uh, Ruby and Willow got the win. And that's it. That's it for Rampage. That's it for Wrestling Results. So there you go. Oops. I went on there, then all of a sudden my intro theme started up. <laughs> okay, so anywho, I right, moved on to the NFL, the playoffs. Well, Seahawks kept with the Niners, but ever since Geno Smith fumbled, then that pretty much ended it for them. Yeah, it just seems that they lost their momentum, and the Niners scored more points and they got the W. So, that's okay. Seattle, I mean, had a decent year, so I wouldn't uh, um, um, be so much down about it, but... There was more bad news being heard. They just signed Geno Smith to another multi-year contract. I hope it's back up. Because Seattle has a good pick in the draft coming up. Well, actually, actually, they're the fifth pick in the first round. And they need to get a quarterback. Nobody else. <laughs> we don't need a lineman. We don't need no one on defense. Quarterback is the main issue for the Seahawks right now. Because Geno Smith is not going to do it. I'm sorry. The guy's been, this week is like his 15th year in the league. What does Pete Carroll see in him that we don't? That's my answer. Or just the brains rotting on Pete Carroll. I don't know. But. <sighs> yeah. So I hope Seattle gets a good quarterback in the draft. That will be the only answer. And if not, we're going to have another season with Geno Smith. And, I mean, don't get me wrong. The guy is good. I mean, quarterback is good, but sometimes he makes those errors. He makes those mistakes. But, yeah. But, hey, but at least they did without Wilson. There's another plus. <laughs> but, yeah. So, but otherwise, see what, see what happens next year. Let's see what, what goes on with them next next year for whatever they make. And hopefully it will be another, hopefully it will be a rookie quarterback getting in a starting position. Because that's what the, that built Russell Wilson. They got him in the draft, look what he turned out to be. So, hope for the best. <laughs> hope for the best. So, you know, on the, one of the other playoff games, yeah, the Chargers blew it against Jacksonville last night. Yeah, so much for, for, for that. And then, um, then Miami today, yeah, Miami kept in, kept in with Buffalo, even though having a third-string quarterback, and yeah, their plays just didn't connect at the end. And just, uh, yeah. But still, they, they actually gave Buffalo a game. I actually thought they were going to get blown out, but I was wrong. Apparently, Miami, uh, Miami almost pulled it off, but almost doesn't count. And they had their chances to get it, um, to, to, to tie it up or uh, to, to take the lead, and it just never happened. So, but still, things looking good. Hopefully, Tua will be back and healthy for next year. So, I, thought, I mean, that's why I'm looking forward to is next year <laughs> for sure. And also the, the Giants beat Minnesota Day, which means another year without a Super Bowl for Minnesota. <laughs> which they never won a Super Bowl, and there's another year gone. So, it's history. 
And then the, the game going on right now is Baltimore, Cincinnati, and Cincinnati's ahead 9-7 to seven right now. So, And it's almost halftime. And then tomorrow will be Tampa Bay and Dallas. So, so we'll see what happens happen next week as the real playoffs begin. So, see how it goes. In the NBA, well, Portland finally got, I mean, broke, uh, broke their five-game losing streak uh, well against Dallas last night. So, it's a good plus. If West actually facing them right now, too, in a back-to-back game at Portland. So, in which Portland's ahead in the first by seven. So, so, so it's good. I mean... I mean, which had a little bit of a dry, a little bit of a dry spell there for a little bit, but that's yeah, okay. I'm not too too worried about it. I mean, it's still a long season, still a long season ahead of us, so not too worried about it. So, and now for that um, national championship, college football, boy, TCU looks like they came in and they were a like a FCS team against Georgia, man. They weren't ready. <laughs> they weren't ready. That was something else, guys. I, I, I couldn't believe what I saw out of that whole game. And just I just turned it off right when Georgia scored 35 points. Like, that's how I'm done. Like, it was over from there. But, yeah. But, another championship for, for, uh, for Georgia. So, good for them. I mean, at least it's someone other than Bama winning. But still, the SEC. So, uh, oh well. What can you do? So, so why I saw for that um, college basketball, uh, Oregon lost big by Arizona State, an embarrassing loss at home. But they redeemed themselves last Saturday. I mean, well, yesterday, as they beat number nine Arizona with a statement win. Man, I didn't think that they were going to beat Arizona. I mean, after the, how they per- performed against ASU last Thursday. But they pulled it off. They pulled it off. So, so, so they, but they're still ten, ten, eight. Not, uh, not, uh, not worthy. But at least they'll, at least they'll put them in a good spot for the uh, conference tournament when it comes to that here. Uh, not too soon. So, so still things are looking good for the Ducks. Just got to keep our heads up. And Gonzaga, man. Another close win last Thursday against BYU. Defense again won in that game. Kind of like what happened against the USF from a week ago. Man. How they did, I don't know, but they did. And, and plus they actually, uh, and they whooped Portland really bad on yesterday, so. But otherwise, I'm going to see what the rankings are. I think Gonzaga did move up after all the uh, upsets yesterday. So, all right. Oh, okay, this says uh, January 9th. Okay, so, so, so I haven't updated it yet. All right. So, okay. But as far as games, uh, Oregon has um, um, California next on Wednesday. And then uh, Gonzaga is going to face Loyola Marymount on Thursday. So, but there's, so but that's their next game for next week for, but for, for Bulldogs and, and the Ducks. So, stay tuned to that. And be good, be, be, be good I will. So, and after that, uh, not really much news. So, anywho, um, playlist updates. I believe I have some guys here. Let, let me check. I'm, I'm going to check just be on the safe side, so, because I'm not quite too sure. No, I don't think I do. No, I don't. Okay. Because the one I mentioned was even last week, so. Okay. So, yeah, so no playlist updates, guys, this week. So, just, I mean, I mean, I was checking just, just to make sure, and so far I don't see anything, as far as I know. I will, I mean, I'll go down through the list, but, and I just, just, uh, and I just click, 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 and I just click on the video. I hate when that happens.
Matter of fact, I assume there was a new Mega Man game out, but even though it's not a officially licensed game, it's called Mega Man The Sequel Wars. I, I mean, it's a, a sequel to the to the Wily Wars one. Yeah, I don't see... If it was, I probably would have saw it by, you know, by now. Yeah, guys, yeah, but I don't see it anymore. Okay. So, that's all for that. So, no more. So, no play a play this update. So, anyhow, it is time to read your comments, and I got some of them. Let's go, ch let's go check them out. Okay. Begin with Colonel Ward. He actually commented on my poll, which I'll check here in a minute. So anyway, he actually commented on my poll, my top five Mega Man themes. What he said, never, never played them. All, always wanted to, to though. Always playing, always was playing Sonic, Ring Man, and Crash Bandicoot when, when younger. Ah, uh, well, that's good. I mean, Sonic's okay. Ring Man, I never played, but Crash Bandicoot, good choice. Because, because uh, that's what I played with, played, played too back in my PS One days. <laughs> so. Then Lee Lan Lathos commented on my ESPN Speed World intros in HRA. Wish wish Fox would put half of, of, of what ESPN did promoting HRA. They have multiple channels, but if they have no HRA weekly shows or pre-race shows, it's a shame. Yeah. But like back in the day, yeah, they never have. I mean, recently I never do. Yeah. I agree. Then... Case all Roberts commented on my Legends of Wrestling 2 creating videos. I I, I gotta say the, the the CGI looks solid for 2002 standards. Not to mention the, the cheers and boos are so lifelike and and uh, well uh, choreographed. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't too bad. Oh, well, I me mean for the the creating videos. Yes. Then uh, Tyler Hollins come out of my poll, nice poll. Dar, Dar Dre Cool. Okay, what that means. Then Evan Pittman commented on my NASCAR Heat 4 career part 20. Fourth win of the season and fifth cup, career cup series win at Sonoma. Nice, good job. Okay, then Buttermania, same video. Nice job at, I'm at Sonoma Hitman. Okay, then same guy, same game, same mode, different part, part 21. Nice race at Daytona Hitman. And plus, and, and uh, back to Evan Pittman, same video. Two, two more wins, and uh, you got seven career cup wins. Nice job. And then, okay, and then uh, same guy, same game, same mode, part 22. Seventh win of the season at Bristol, and your eighth career cup win. Great job. Okay, and then back to Vitamania, same game. Nice job at Bristol, man. Then that's just Eric coming out of my NC football. 07 intros, back when EA actually tried. Yeah, I agree. But still, we'll see what happens with their new college football game coming up in a couple years. Then again, back to Evan Pittman, coming on my uh, yesterday's live stream. Another dirt win at Durban. Good job. Okay, and then Buttermania, same video. Can, can, uh, congrats on the win at Durban, man. And that's it. And I'll leave a like on that one. Alright, so that's it for comments, guys. There you go. Okay, now it's time to look at my stats for this week. Alright. So my subscriber count is 5708. So good job, guys. I'm mean, actually grew. The same numbers as views as usual, so that's what was in the last 28 days. And the top content of that period, the uh, top 10, number one is, in, is, in, is NCAA football, 2006 intros with 776. <coughs> Excuse me, I caught there. Then, uh, then, uh, then NCAA football, football, uh, seven intros with 744. Then NASCAR has five chase for the cup intros with 485, and then 
then NCAA football 2004 with 359, and then basketball 2003 with 352, and then six is NCAA football 06 with the with the 327, and then seventh is W2K17 with with the 292. And then 8th is W. Smith Raw 2008, PS3 with 285, the W12 in 9th with 271, then then well then, well then NCAA football 2003 with 269 in the 10th. I mean 2003, yeah. I mean I mean NCAA football 2003, yeah. Which I, which I, which I think I said 9, sorry. Oh, 269. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. I thought I made it the, the wrong game. Okay, and the 11th and 12th. 11th is going to be Spider-Man vs. Raw 2010 with 266. And then NASCAR 09 PS2 Part 1 with 221. Alright. Alright. So, yeah, those are my most improved views. I mean, I mean, average view for the last 20 days. Alrighty, so let's see what else is going on. I'll kind of go through it. And browse features and suggested videos are close. Nice. 31.4 to 29.0. Then uh, YouTube search is 12.0. Nice. Nice. Country, the U.S. of course, and more not subscribe or, or viewing my videos, which is fine. And more mail says been viewing my videos, and then it's a tight race between the age difference between 1824 to 2534, <laughs> 35.0 on the 1824, and then 33.5 on the uh, on the 25 to 24. Alright, so, yeah. Okay, there he is on that one. Here we go, here we go back to content here. Yes, so it shows my top videos, okay. Which is the uh, same as the ones I was reading off earlier. Pretty much, actually. Some, some new ones there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, same ones. All right, guys, that's it. So, so far so good. I mean, I'm kind of. I mean, it's growing just slowly, just a little bit. So, I mean, which is good. So, thank you guys a lot. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And plus, I'm going to get to my, my poll here, which I almost forgot. <laughs> Alright, so, which I'll actually keep keep this up for, like, late viewers who actually, who actually come in. So, alright, so out of 15 votes, as of now, it's Flashbands level theme for Mega Man 2 with 67%, my top theme of all time in Mega Man games. Okay, and second is Dr. Wily's Stages 3 and 4 for Mega Man 3 with 13%, and then three of them with 7%, is the boss theme for Mega Man 6, Top Man's level theme for Mega Man 3, and a, and a, and a Dark Lives Stages 1 and 2 for Mega Man 2. Alright. So, so, let me, so, uh, like I said, I will, I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll leave this up and I'll just let you guys vote on it, whoever comes in, you know, so. Alright, so there you have it on that, guys. There you go. So now, live stream schedule. Going to be uh, tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. Yep. So, because I because I got tomorrow off, and plus Saturday will be, well, plus Friday will be my last week of work, so I'll be doing one on Saturday, on Friday, and then Saturday I have the day off. So, yep. So I'll be doing th th three days th this week, and I'll have some fun. So hopefully we'll finish up the NASCAR season. See how it goes from there. So.
on 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 Nothing Else Can Be Four. So we'll go move on to WE two two K twenty twenty two for uh, the uh, female My Rise. So should be fun. So that's it. Nothing else to mention. So anything else as far as that? Actually, there's one thing in college football, which is I heard at a UFC. I mean, I mean not UFC. I mean USC. Um, it's I mean it's a what's a what's a what's a little bit of a political talk, which I won't get much into it much. Um, anywho, I seen a thing where USC students there, over-educated idiots, I call them, is that uh, they are. Uh, Trying to change the field name on on a UFC so football field, but she goes back and reminds them back of the past is uh, black workers on stuff. They're bored. They have nothing else to do, and they're and they're going with the uh, Pentacom. That's the new name for their field. They're, they're going to call their field the. the I mean, it's, I mean, instead of field, they're going to call it the Pentacum, which it rhymes with something that has the brand name of Trojan on it, <laughs> if you guys get the rhyme. <laughs> so, but I, I mean, I mean, TV broadcasters are actually not going to change the name. I think it's just some students were bored and they came up with something that they think it was race, racially incentive and, of course, the woke and all that crap, but... Yeah, so, but yeah, guys, I thought I would, sh I would just show that with you. I mean, if you haven't even heard it already, but yeah, it's like there's no way they're gonna change the name. No way. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I mean, broadcasters for TV for, for I mean, for ESPN and Fox are not gonna change the, call it the, uh, the Emma uh, Pentacom. No way. So, <laughs> ain't gonna happen. Trust me, ain't gonna happen. So, anyway, it's off of that. So, yep, that's it, guys. So. I'll be back tomorrow with my live streams. I hope you all tune in. So, so from the guy who has over 5,000 subscribers and lives in Pleasant, Oregon, I'm out of here. Take care, guys.